Ultimate Ueno Guide 44 Food Recommendations Samurai Junjiro Channel Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. This video is about street food in Ueno. We'll introduce 44 foods, including classic sweets and highly popular seafood bowl. We'll share a lot of information that hasn't been covered on other YouTube channels, so don't miss it. Now, let's get started! We have arrived at Ueno Station. This time, we'll introduce it divided into six areas. If you have any place you want to know more about, let us know in the comments. Oh, by the way, the addresses of the shops featured in our videos all have Google Maps links in the description box. If you save the shops you want to visit as favorites, it's very convenient when you're traveling. Please feel free to use it. First, we'll introduce Matsuzakaya. It's a department store that was established in 1768 with many high-end shops. We'll introduce four recommended shops from the food specialty area on the first basement floor. The first one is this shop, Hokushin. It's a fish shop with over 30 locations across Japan, and they also have three branches in Hokkaido, where there is plenty of fresh seafood. We'll introduce three recommended items from this shop. We'll have a seafood bowl shaped like a cake. It uses negitoro, minced tuna, and tuna. The sashimi, which is arranged like flower petals, looks beautiful. Between the rice, there is cucumber, flying fish roe, and shrimp. It comes with soy sauce and wasabi. The negitoro has just the right amount of fat, and the texture is melting in your mouth. The tuna has no fishy smell and a rich taste. Next up is the salmon seafood bowl. The salmon roe shines like jewels and it's beautiful. The salmon melts in your mouth. The soy sauce flavor of the salmon roe is just right. The texture of the cucumber adds a nice accent. This seafood bowl is the best in both looks and taste. The next one is this seafood bowl. It features a panda face made with vinegared rice. The ingredients are a wide variety, such as shrimp, crab, salmon roe, squid, eggs, and more. It's a luxurious seafood bowl with various textures to enjoy. It's nice that there is negitoro and salmon between the rice. It's not just cute, but the taste is also authentic for this seafood ball. The next shop is Alsace Lorraine. This is a bakery operated by Yamazaki Baking, the top selling bread maker in Japan. We'll introduce two types of bread from this shop. The first one is the Menchikatsu Burger. It uses brown pork from Kagoshima Prefecture. The sauce with a subtle tartness from ketchup goes well with menchikatsu. It has the sweetness from the onions. The size is small, making it easy to eat. Next up is an anpan with a panda illustration. It's the most popular one at this shop. The dough is soft and has a sweetness of milk. Inside, there is sweet red bean paste and whipped cream. The mild sweetness of the red bean paste and the sweet whipped cream make the bread even more delicious. The next shop is Isen. It's a specialty shop for takeout fried foods. The main branch of this shop is a highly popular tonkatsu restaurant, just a 5-minute walk from Matsuzakaya. Artisans carefully fry each tonkatsu one by one. This time, we'll introduce two recommended foods. The first item is the katsu sandwich, which is the most popular one. Katsu sandwich is a dish with tonkatsu between slices of bread, and it originated from Isen. It's made with tenderloin, making it moist and soft. 
the sweet sauce soaks into the bread, giving a rich flavor. It's so delicious that once you try it, you won't forget it. Next up is the shrimp cutlet sandwich. It's seasoned with the same sweet sauce as the katsu sandwich. It has a plump texture and sweetness of the shrimp. It's also recommended to eat it with tartar sauce. The crunchy textures of pickles and mayonnaise goes well with the shrimp. Next up is this shop, Asakusa Imahan. It's a specialty shop for meat dishes established in Asakusa in 1895. We'll introduce the most popular bento box at this shop. It's topped with wagyu, shimmered in soy sauce and sugar over the rice. It has a savory aroma of soy sauce. Tofu and konjac are simmered together with wagyu and soy sauce, so the flavor soaks into them. The meat is tender and juicy. The crispy texture of sweet onions and beef is a perfect match. The sauce soaks into the rice, making it delicious. It's wonderful to enjoy a bento with wagyu at this price. Now, let's move on to the next area. Next, let us introduce Sakura Terrace. This commercial facility has more than 18 restaurants. The rooftop is connected to Ueno Park and has benches, making it the perfect spot to enjoy takeout meals. First, we'll introduce Miss Yakimo. It's a sweet potato dessert shop that opened in 2020. This time, we'll introduce two types of food. The first one is the baked sweet potato. This sweet potato is of the variety called Beni Haruka, and it comes from Namegara City in Ibaraki Prefecture, known for its sweet potato production. Slowly baking enhances the sweetness even more. It melts with a smooth texture. It has a sweetness that makes you think sugar has been added. The skin of the sweet potato has a crispy texture. Next up is the financière, a pastry originating from France. It has a delightful sweet aroma. It's moist and the natural sweetness of the sweet potatoes fills your mouth. It also includes small diced sweet potatoes, enhancing the texture. It's a highly recommended shop for sweet potato lovers. Next, we'll introduce Imano Fruit Factory, a specialty shop for fruit sandwiches. We'll have a particularly popular menu. It's a colorful fruit sandwich filled with orange, kiwi, pineapple, pink grapefruit, and strawberry. The juice overflows in your mouth. The bread is moist and fluffy. Inside, there is whipped cream and bananas, so the sweetness enhances the tartness of fruits, making it even more delicious. It's a luxurious fruit sandwich. Next up is this shop, Volo Coffee and Tea. It's a popular cafe where you can enjoy coffee, soft serve ice cream, and more. This time, we'll introduce two Chinese buns that are popular on social media. They are in the shape of a panda's face, and they're cute! Let's start with the white Chinese bun. It's made by artisans from the Chinese cuisine specialty shop next door. The dough is fluffy and moist. Inside, there is a pork filling, and the juices overflow. The texture of bamboo shoots and the umami of shiitake mushrooms are great! The Chinese bun shaped like a brown panda has a sweet and pleasant aroma. It's filled with plenty of chocolate cream. It has a rich sweetness. The melty texture is delicious. It's not only cute, but also an authentic Chinese bun. Now, let's move on to the next area. Next, we'll introduce six shops around Ueno and Okachimachi stations. First up is this shop, Truffle Mini, located at Okachimachi Station. 
It's a bakery that is also in Tokyo Station in Ginza, and it opened at Okachimachi Station in March 2023. Let us introduce three recommended items from this shop. First, we'll have the most popular item, the salted bread. It's a fragrant bread made with truffle butter, truffle oil, and truffle salt. The flavor of truffle fills your mouth. The butter soaks into the dough, making it delicious. It's nice that the price is affordable. Next is the donut that is highly recommended by the staff. It uses Taihaku Abura, a sesame oil that pairs well with donuts. The dough is fluffy and moist. The sweetness from the sugar is just right. It's simple but an authentic taste. Next, we'll introduce the egg sandwich. It's the second most popular menu at this shop. It has a pleasant aroma because it contains truffle sauce in the eggs. The bread is moist and soft. The eggs are coarsely crushed, giving it a nice texture. It's a luxurious egg sandwich with the fragrance of truffle. Next is Hanakagura Panda Yaki, located next to Truffle Mini. It's a specialty shop for bite-sized Costello cakes in the shape of pandas. They bake them in the shop so you can enjoy them freshly baked. This time, we bought a combination of six flavors. It's shaped like a panda, so cute! It has the natural sweetness of eggs and milk. It's a plain one without cream inside. The chocolate sauce has no bitterness and a nice cocoa aroma. The custard cream is sweet and creamy. The sweet red bean paste is not too sweet and it has a nice texture of beans. The caramel sauce is sweet and goes well with the dough. This is a limited time chestnut cream. It's bite-sized, so just right for a snack. Next is Usagiya. It's a traditional Japanese confectionery shop established in 1913. We'll introduce two menu items from this shop. The first one is the Dorayaki. It's the most popular menu that almost everyone buys when they come to this shop. It has a pleasant aroma of honey. The dough is moist and fluffy. Inside, there is plenty of sweet red bean paste. The smooth and melting texture of the red bean paste is addictive. This dorayaki is not too sweet and it has elegant flavor. Next up is the manju. It's cute with decorated rabbit eyes and ears. Inside, there is koshian, smooth sweet red bean paste. It's a Japanese confectionery that pairs well with warm green tea. Next, we'll introduce this shop, Beard Papa. It's a specialty shop for cream puffs that has the most stores in Japan. We'll introduce the classic cream puff and the soft serve ice cream available only at some stores. First, the classic cream puff. It has a nice aroma of butter. They put in the cream after your order so you can enjoy the crispy texture of the pastry. The custard cream inside uses high-quality vanilla beans from Madagascar, giving it a pleasant aroma. It has a rich flavor of eggs and milk. Next up is the soft serve ice cream. The cup is adorable. The soft serve has a rich egg taste similar to custard cream. It has the sweetness of milk, making it delicious. This special soft serve is available only at selected stores, so be sure to give it a try. Next, we'll introduce Sanrio Gift Gate Ueno located about a minute's walk from the Beer Papa. It's a specialty shop for Sanrio merchandise with over 160 locations across Japan. The Ueno branch is smaller than others, but it offers many exclusive items available only here. 
This time, we'll introduce an item that is also perfect as a souvenir from among them. This is seaweed packaged in a can with Hello Kitty brands. It has a tuna mayonnaise flavor. It's thicker than regular seaweed, giving it a strong, crispy texture. The rich flavor goes well with rice or drinks. After eating the contents, you can use this can as a pen holder. Next is this shop, Mihashi. It's a specialty shop for traditional Japanese sweets established in 1948. You can eat in the store, but this time we'll introduce two popular items for takeout. The first item is the most popular Shiratama Amitsu. The ingredients are separated to prevent the flavors from blending. After adding the ingredients into the container with agar, drizzled brown sugar syrup on top, and it's ready! The chewy texture of shirachama is addictive. Agar and oranges go well with the brown sugar syrup. The textures of sweet red bean paste and beans are a nice accent. It's a sweet that gives you a taste of Japan. Next is the Monaka ice cream. It has a pleasant aroma. The monaka is crispy, giving it a nice texture. Inside, there is matcha ice cream. It has a subtle bitterness and a nice aroma of matcha. It also has natural sweetness of milk. In addition to matcha flavor, there are also vanilla and red bean flavors, so be sure to give them a try. Now, let's move on to the next area. The next location is inside Ueno Station at Area Gate. We'll introduce two recommended shops located in Etude Ueno, where there are many takeout only shops. First up is Anya Hyoko. This is a specialty shop for Obanyaki, operated by a company famous for producing Hyoko, a popular Tokyo souvenir. We'll introduce the most popular item at this shop. It's an obanyaki with the adorable illustration of two pandas from Ueno Zoo. The dough with the sweet aroma of honey is thick and has a chewy texture. Inside, there is plenty of custard cream. It has a rich egg flavor. There is a pleasant aroma of vanilla beans. The obanyaki made with red beans from Hokkaido is also popular. The next shop is Mameda, a specialty shop for Inari Sushi. There are over 30 stores across Japan, but this time we'll introduce a special type of Inari that you can only buy at this shop. The panda illustration is adorable. The fried tofu skin is seasoned with soy sauce and sugar, giving it a sweet flavor. Inside, the rice has a nice accent with the aroma of vinegar and sesame. Kanpyo, made by simmering dried fruit peel with soy sauce, has a crispy texture. It's nice that the price is affordable. The next place is Maori Ueno, the department store right in front of Ueno Station. By the way, there is an eating space on the first floor. If you've bought something at Maori, you can eat it here. First, we'll introduce this shop, Cinnabon. It's a specialty store for cinnamon rolls, originally from the US, and the Ueno branch opened in 2021. This time, we'll have a special menu that you can only get at this store. It's a cinnamon roll with a panda face. The white chocolate is smooth and sweet. The crispy texture of the chocolate chips is a nice accent. The fluffy dough contains plenty of cinnamon, giving it a pleasant aroma. It combines the classic cinnamon roll flavor with the sweetness of white chocolate. It's recommended for those with a sweet tooth. Next up is Nana's Green Tea. It's a popular specialty shop for matcha drinks and sweets, with over 50 stores across Japan. You can enjoy eating in the restaurant, but this time we'll introduce their takeout menu. 
its matcha rolled cake. In the center of the whipped cream, there is matcha flavored cream. The sponge of the cake also contains matcha, giving it a pleasant aroma. There is subtle sweetness in the whipped cream and the bitterness of matcha. It's moist, smooth, and has a light texture. It has a mild sweetness and an elegant taste. Next stop is Pazzo Cafe. Pastel is a popular restaurant with over 70 stores across Japan. This time, we'll introduce a particularly recommended menu items from their takeout suites. It's pudding, the most popular and representative item at this shop. It's made with fresh cream and egg yolks. It features a smooth and melt-in-your-mouth texture. It's creamy, almost like a drink. The caramel has a mild bitterness and sweetness. It's a luxurious pudding with the rich flavor of eggs and milk. All right, let's move on to the next area. Finally, we'll introduce Ameyoko, the most visited shopping street in Ueno. Most shops open around 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. Some shops close around 7 p.m., so we recommend going around noon. Let's start with this shop, Minatoya. You can enjoy seafood bowls and takoyaki. Only those who have ordered seafood bowls are allowed to use the seats. If you're only having takoyaki, you can't use the seats, but you can use the standing tables available nearby. First, we'll have freshly grilled takoyaki. You need to add some toppings like sauce and bonito flakes yourself. The size is large, so it's satisfying to eat. The outside is crispy and the inside is chewy. The plump texture of octopus is nice. The price is affordable and it's amazing. The next is the seafood ball. It's very affordable, topped with negitoro and salmon. The salmon has just the right amount of fat. Negitoro has a nice texture of the green onions. We'll introduce another takoyaki shop and a seafood specialty store later, so stay tuned! The next shop is Coffee by Jalana. We'll have a hot sandwich, which is baked with a special machine. It's filled with ground beef, tomato, and cheddar cheese. The outside is crispy and the inside is fluffy. The warmed and melted cheddar cheese has a creamy and rich flavor. There is plenty of spicy ground beef and it's satisfying to eat. The tartness of the tomato adds a nice accent. The katsu sandwiches and teriyaki eggs are also popular, so give it a try. Next up is Sanzoku Kaizoku. It's an izakaya that opened in March 2023 and is bustling with people from lunchtime. You can enjoy Ameyoko Yaki, a Ueno specialty that closed down over five years ago. It's a bite-sized okonomiyaki cooked with eggs in the wheat batter. It has a pleasant aroma of bonito flakes and aonori seaweed. The sauce is sweet with a subtle spiciness from the spices. The mayonnaise is a perfect match. Currently, this is the only place where you can try Ameyoko Yaki, so you should go there. Next up is this shop, Chano Kimi Noen. It's a specialty store for Japanese tea leaves with a history of over 90 years. There are various types of tea leaves, but most people who visit this store enjoy the soft serve ice cream. This time, we chose a mix of matcha and milk flavors. It has a pleasant aroma of matcha. It uses milk from Hokkaido. It has a subtle bitterness of matcha, but the sweetness of the milk makes it easy to eat. For those who love the bitterness of matcha, we recommend trying the soft serve with only matcha flavor. Next up is the restaurant Chin Chin Ken. 
It's a popular place for Japanese-style Chinese cuisine, and there is always a line every day. This restaurant's menu also has English, so don't worry even if you can't read Japanese. Let's start with the gyoza. It's a popular menu that most people who come to the restaurant order. We recommend dipping it in sauce made with soy sauce, vinegar, and chili oil. The skin is thick and it has a chewy texture. It has a strong flavor of garlic and ginger, and you can also taste the sweetness of the pork. There is plenty of cabbage, making it refreshing to eat. It goes well with beer. Next, we'll have tanmen. It's a salty broth ramen topped with plenty of stir-fried vegetables. This is also very popular. The umami from the vegetables blends with the soup. The vegetables, which are stir-fried quickly over high heat, have a nice crispy texture. The noodles coated in soup are delicious. It has a refreshing taste of salt and Chinese broth. Next stop is Niku no Oyama. It's a restaurant specializing in meat dishes run by a butcher. You can also eat inside the restaurant, but we recommend eating at the outdoor tables because you can experience the atmosphere of Ueno. When you've decided what you want to order, please tell the staff of the name of the menu or the alphabet next to it. The first one is the potato croquette. It's a popular menu that most people order because it's inexpensive. It's filled with plenty of ground pork. The meat fat soaks into the potatoes, making it delicious. The next is shrimp cutlet. Inside, there are plenty of shrimp and minced fish. The plump texture is nice. The sweetness of the shrimp is strong and delicious. Next, we'll have menchikatsu. It's a luxurious one made with wagyu. When you take each bite, the juices spread in your mouth. You can also taste the sweetness of the onions. It's delicious as it is, but if you like stronger flavors, adding sauce is also recommended. Next stop is Osaka Jugemu. It's a place where you can enjoy authentic takoyaki and there are also six stores in Osaka. This time, we'll introduce two menu items. First up is the takosen, a food that sandwiches takoyaki between shrimp rice crackers. After pouring plenty of sauce, it's ready. It has a pleasant aroma of bonito flakes and shrimp. Press a bit before eating. The rich and spicy sauce goes well with the rice crackers. The takoyaki is creamy and melts in your mouth. The next one is takoyaki with soy sauce instead of sauce. It has a refreshing taste compared to the regular sauce. The combination of soy sauce, bonito flakes, and mayonnaise is perfect. The outside is crispy and the inside is soft and creamy. The octopus is cut into large pieces, giving it a nice texture. It's great that you can enjoy the authentic flavor of Osaka in Tokyo. Next stop is Aras Kebab. There are many kebab shops in Ueno, but this one is an especially popular shop. This time, we chose the Donor Kebab, a mix of beef and chicken. The pita bread is moist and chewy. The meat and the spicy sauce are a perfect match. The tomato is fruity, and the cabbage has a nice texture. Finally, we'll introduce this shop, Uotsuka. It's a popular standing-style seafood shop where you can enjoy seafood dishes. It gets crowded, so we recommend coming around the opening time, which is 10 a.m. This time, we'll have the most popular item, salmon roll rice ball and a sashimi set. This sashimi is medium fatty tuna. The marbling of the fat is beautiful. 
When you put it in your mouth, it melts away. It's fresh, so there is no fishy smell, and the aftertaste is refreshing. The last one is the salmon roll rice ball. You can order a single item, but it's an even better deal to order it as a set with sashimi. The salmon roll marinated in soy sauce has a rich flavor that goes well with the vinegared rice. The popping texture is addictive. It's much more affordable than eating in Skiji. If you come to Ueno, be sure to give it a try. If there's any restaurant you'd like us to introduce, let us know in the comments. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!